Enemy cruisers suck. Hello, everyone. I am Fresh Potato and the Collingwood absolutely sucks for me. Okay, when I play it, this ship does not work. Okay, am I gonna say this is a bad ship? No, I can't because I just witnessed other content creators play this ship and they play it very well. So this isn't a bad ship. It just doesn't work when I play it. It, it absolutely sucks. I can't hit the broad side of Staple Center. Go Lakers, LeBron is the GOAT. Okay, I can't hit anything with this ship. Okay, I'm exaggerating a little bit, obviously, but the accuracy, the, 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 it just, I just can't perform well in this ship. And I bought this ship, uh, for when it came, when it was for sale during the last update, uh, during the, uh, British Battlecruiser update, Wargaming put this on sale with other British battleships at tier six. And I chose this ship over the Nelson. And I did that because of the extra consumables, right? The extra, as you can see, it has sonar and the reload booster. That's why I chose this ship over the Nelson. But the point of this video is that, you know, we all have premium ships. Not all, but most of us that play this game, we have premium ships that we bought with our hard-earned cash, right? And... It doesn't work, right? <laughs> it may not work for you, right? And I know I'm not the only one. So, you know, leave a comment, okay? I want to know what, what is that ship for you? That premium ship that just doesn't work for you, right? But then you go on YouTube and you watch content creators, you know, make the ship look really good. But when you play it, it ab you absolutely suck, right? And here goes the Nelson. And the Nelson, it has more guns than the Collingwood, right? The Collingwood has the two guns per turret. Nelson, three guns per turret. I should have bought the Nelson because it too was on sale. But again, like I said, I chose the, the Collingwood because, well, those two extra consumables. Who doesn't want a sonar and a reload booster on a battleship, right? Who doesn't want that? So... That was my, my, my logic there, my thinking. And like I said, I made a mistake because this ship is a bad ship when I play it. Okay? When I play it. Very frustrating. And I tried everything. Different, different commanders. I put Cunningham on there for, for a full-on accuracy. Then I went to Azerlane Nelson, I guess, to, <laughs> to see if that'll work. And she too, accuracy built. Then out of desperation, I went to a brawler build, okay? Charles Madden. And no, <laughs> no, that didn't help, okay? None of it helped. Then I went back to Andrew Cunningham again, okay? And still, nothing, nothing. And like I said, I have him full accuracy build, okay? I got Itchino in there, and of course, Celiax for the extra damage on the uh, AP shells, but still, nothing. It, it, the the shells would it will work if I can actually hit a target right hit a target but like I said we all have those ships right we all have those types of premium ships that just don't work for us and you know it makes it it hurts okay because you spend your hard earned cash on something that doesn't work <laughs> not uh. Nah, not something you want to experience, you know. <laughs> so let's look at an example or some examples here. And here we're on two brothers. The Plymouth is going to appear, right? Then the Plymouth is going to pop its smoke, okay? Broadside. It's going to pop its smoke, but one of our friendly cruisers here pop our radar. So the Plymouth will be spotted, right? Again, broadside. So here we go. We have the Plymouth in our sights, broadside, we finally lock on, we take the shot, and, and, yeah, <laughs> we get two 
over pins. So here we pop the reload booster. We know he's gonna pull forward. We're gonna take another shot. And, and broadside Plymouth. Yeah, we only landed one shell, one shell. Okay, and that's that's basically the theme with the Collingwood when I play it. Okay, when I play it. So here goes another example. Example. Here goes the Monarch, and we're in a situation here. We pushed in, and we have a Jean Bart behind us, or kind of on the other side of that one of the on the on that far right island is the John Bart. We know we're gonna die, but look at this shot here. We're gonna line up his guns, we'll line up the Monarch's guns. We're gonna take that shot. Here it is, last shot before we die. And, yeah, yeah. Did I not aim that right for its guns within four kilometers? And we still managed to only hit one shell that did absolutely nothing, right? This has been my experience, okay, with the Collingwood. All right, here goes another example. We're gonna fire at this destroyer within three, within four kilometers. Fire and absolutely nothing. We missed everything that close, okay? That close. Again, this is my experience with the Collingwood. And boy, do I wish I can go back and get a full refund for this ship. Okay, next example. This is the most aggravating sequence I have had in this game. Not only am I, my shell is going to be going all over the place. We are going to get a Citadel hit. But not only is my shell going to be move, going all over the place. I'm not going to be able to lock on to the North Carolina. Okay, and I wish Wargaming will fix this issue. Okay, here goes another side shot. Broadside North Carolina and... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and we are within 10 kilometers. Within 10 kilometers. And here goes this, uh, this aiming issue, right? Aiming indicator does not lock on to the ship you want it to lock on. Okay? After this shot here, again, broadside North Carolina, nothing. Not enough. All of a sudden, we're locked onto the Fuso. Here goes the North Carolina. Now I'm trying to lock onto the North Carolina, and yeah, look at this. Look at this. Look, <laughs> nothing. Now we're gonna get punched in the in the mouth here. Punch in the mouth. Boom. Now we're finally locked onto it. <laughs> we're gonna take another broadside shot. Okay, within eight kilometers now, almost seven kilometers, and yeah, yeah. You know. I, I'm not telling people to not buy this ship because like I said, this is my experience with it. Your experience may be different. You know, maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe it's a skill issue. But again, I pride myself with my aiming. I, I know how to aim and I aim pretty well. And it, I just can't hit the target with this thing. Now we're gonna go ahead and take that shot on the destroyer. I believe I led him far enough. I think that was a perfect lead. And nothing. Absolutely nothing. So, yeah. <laughs> well, like I said, we all have ships like this in our inventory, right? We all have that premium ship. And I'm not talking about the tech tree ships. I'm talking about, excuse me, I'm talking about the, the premium ships you spend your hard-earned cash on. Sometimes they don't want to work, okay? And yeah, we cost again minimal damage on the Gneisenau broadside. Broadside within seven kilometers, nothing, nothing. It almost looks like we're causing more damage with our secondaries than our main guns, right? <laughs> so yeah, that Gneisenau will go down. But yeah, <laughs> this is my experience with the Collingwood. I've been playing it for um what since the last update. It's been about a month. I have it in my regular rotation, right, of ships that I've been playing recently, okay? And I I don't know how much of this I could take, right? The 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 anxiety and the high blood pressure spike, right, when you when I'm playing this thing. And I really like this ship as far as being able to angle 
okay, playing with the angles and and keeping that tight angle, uh, forcing people to shoot my belt, even though everyone can, you know, overmatch. <laughs> Almost everyone seems like can overmatch the Collingwood and the Nelson. But still, I like playing the angle game, and I'm able to push in successfully close enough, but I just can't hit a close target, right? Right? I just can't. And I think, is the, does this mean Wargaming needs to buff this? Because again, the ship has limited guns, right? It's a battleship with only six guns. So I would think that this ship would have the best dispersion, best shell grouping, uh, Sigma, whatever, because of the limited guns and combined with it being a premium ship, right? A ship you have to buy. A ship you have to spend your money on. It should it should have increased dispersion or 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 accuracy. Okay? To make it worth your money. But like I said, maybe it's just me. Maybe maybe it's something I'm doing wrong. And Hopefully, maybe there's someone out there that can help. Okay, I need more suggestions. I need suggestions on how to make this better because I've I've tried everything. Okay, like I said, I, I did the the accuracy build. I did the the uh, brawler build. Nothing, nothing. I get the same thing with this ship, and I guess that's just the way it is because of its limited guns. If if that's the case, I will never. Never buy another battleship with six guns, right? <laughs> I will never do that. Okay, I will. Uh, no, <laughs> no. I, I yeah. It's it's kind of like the like the Georgia issue, right? Where some people, you know, they they live by the by it. Some people despise the Georgia. Some people love it. And I guess that's what the Collingwood is going to probably be now. I guess because yeah, it. This, <laughs> I can't hit anything with this thing. <laughs> but yeah, uh, tell me what you think and, uh, you know, let me know what is that premium ship that's, you know, doesn't work for you. <laughs> but yeah, just leave it in the comment and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Enemy cruiser sunk.